how's it going? Um, I, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. I don't know if you've seen this whole genre on YouTube before, but um, I got a package, an herb order, and I saved it to open with my herb friends. So here we go. It's from um, Kräuterparadies Lindig der Wurzelsepp. I guess that's how you say it. They're in um, Munich. And uh, I ordered from them, I don't know, once or twice before. And I don't know, the quality seemed fine. And um, let's see what I ordered. I'm like, I'm somebody who, um, you know, I know I'm going to use it eventually. I always order the amount that you have to order so that you don't pay shipping so it was 50 euros so i ordered 52 euros or herbs or something like that um, um because i needed oregon grapefruit <laughs> so let's see what did i get i got sash barilla i've never worked with that before i'm pretty excited um yeah yeah i mean the, the flavor and the use so yeah sash barilla that'll be fun and, mm. The wheels are going. Seems like some, you know, some kind of root beer sort of a thing, right? Oh, um, I got some um, black cohosh. Um, I don't have any black cohosh tincture, and um, I use this for. I guess it's a little bit of an unusual use, but I, um, if I eat something that I'm allergic to, I'll get like a really sudden low blood low blood pressure where I like try to take my pulse and I can barely find it. Then. Um, just a little bit of black cohosh, like, you know, brings me back to life, kind of. So, um, it's probably, I mean, I use it kind of almost like emergency medicine. So, I just got a little bit. I'll just make a little um, tincture and probably uh, put that in my purse. Because I had these um, pills, like those sugar pills that you put under your tongue. <laughs> They're okay. Put them out. Uh, oh, and here it is. This is why I ordered. Is the... Um, God, everything's gotten so environmental now. Everything's in paper and you can't see it. It used to be that you'd open this up. Like, I mean, even a couple years ago, this would have been like all plastic bags, right? Um, maybe not here, but it would have been in the States. Um, okay, so this is the uh, Oregon grapefruit. That's um, like, so along with a lot of the other yellow herbs that have the uh, berberine in it, with that, um, it has a, that yellow color and then it's um, bitter and this is exactly true but that it, it like that your liver maybe thinks it's toxic and starts to work harder to clear things out it's just um, uh, a liver stimulating herb um, my teacher Michael always used to talk about kicking the liver it's like to kick the liver and step things up that's why I had to order this because like you know sometimes yeah, I'm stressed out. I eat too much. I drink too much, and my liver needs to get on it. You know. Um, oh, so this is a tiny bottle. What did I order? I love just not thinking about it and getting surprises. You know. Um, oh, I got, oh yeah, I got carrot seed oil because yeah, um, for my skin, I want to improve the texture of my skin. And I used to have a bottle and. Um, Somebody dropped it on the floor, and um, so that needed to be replaced. And then, because um, I don't know, my skin's been, the skin of my face has mostly been getting better in the past couple months, even though I've been stressed. And so, I don't know, I'm trying to really get my skin looking good. Um, marshmallow leaf, which uh, I'm pretty psyched about. This is one of these things, like if you have a garden, you know, you're kind of laughing, like, seriously, she paid three euros for that much? I have tons. Yeah, I know, all right, but uh, I don't have it in my garden. Um, usually, I've, you know, mostly just seen the root for sale, and um, the leaf is milder, but it's, you know, it's nicer to um, put it in a tea blend without having to simmer it like you would want to with the root, so. Um, and so, yeah, so marshmallow is like the most classic, uh, you know, moistening or so for the immune system and the mucous membranes and so forth. Um, that's good to have. Oh, do you ever? Oh, so this is um, nettle seed. Um, 
yeah, nettle seed is just fantastic. It's like you know, superfood, like uh, very nutritious and um, building and so forth. And especially for the health of the kidneys, um, is my understanding. But it's such a building food, and I have such a tendency to to gain weight. I um, I bought this uh, nettle seed preparation from this very witchy herbalist here in Berlin, and it was delicious. It was it was kind of like Nutella, but with um, nettle seeds in it and I, it was it was like you know honey and hazelnut and and um and uh nettle seed and it was one of these things where it's like I, I gained like two or three pounds in a few days it's like you know there's those foods that are like you just don't know <laughs> how did that happen so i'm gonna be careful with that one but it's great oh oh this is um uh leonardo's we, uh, in, in english we call this motherwort um this is so nice it's um it's uh, yeah it's a relaxing herb and i feel like i need the, the all of the relaxing herbs to work with right now and um hmm. i've only just used it a little bit in the past but it has uh, uh yeah leonor's cardiaca it's um helps with that heart part of uh, freaking out, you know, which I, I get like the, when I get really anxious and like, really freaking out and sometimes get the palpitations where I can feel my heart. So that's what made me um, start to think I really should get some. And I wanna, I wanna research more about the, um, the thyroid effects. Um, and so yeah, glad to have that one around, good for tea. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things in here. <laughs> I got small quantities of a lot of things. Mm. Wow. Moshu salmon. What is that? I might have to look that up in English. Oh, cystus. So this is funny. Like, so the reason I got this is because, so until a couple months ago, I was working at this herb shop packing um, online herb orders. And as soon as the, the um, uh, coronavirus news started coming out and people were freaking out about a uh, viral infection just people were just ordering kilo after kilo after kilo of um, cystus um, uh, what do we call that in English usually maybe maybe rock roads it's not very commonly used in the States and it's really not very commonly used in the English speaking world period um, and it's one of these herbs where you know there's, there's been a little bit of research about it being really effective as an antiviral in petri dishes. Um, I wasn't it wasn't clear that there's much evidence about it actually being used as an herb in human bodies uh, working against virus. But I just really wanted to um, to try it because it's such a trend right now in um, in Germany. I don't know German herb people are just going nuts over it right now. So. It'd be nice to at least know what it tastes like. This is another one that's kind of, you know, I, I laugh at myself. I actually bought mulberry leaf, which, you know, I had mulberry trees growing like weeds in my garden in Austin, but um, blood sugar, blood sugar. The, um, under severe stress, um, keeping my blood sugar level becomes more challenging. And so, um, a good one to have, a nice mild tea herb that can go in a blend with other things. You know, I always like to have these very neutral tea herbs that can that can fill out a blend nicely. So that's that's a really good one to have for that. Um, let's see. Oh, skullcap. Yes, skullcap is um. It's and I love it in German. It's Helmkraut, helmet, right? Um. So skull cap, if you do it right, um, yeah, passion flower also, but um, the skull cap, you want to use just um, like warm water, not boiling, and it gets a much stronger effect, and um, then you can get the, the the skull cap on, you know, and just kind of, um, yeah, pretty powerful. There's definitely times where I where I really need some skull cap, so that would be a good good sleep herb for when I. It seems like I'm not gonna sleep well. Okay, that one's good to have. Yeah, well, we'll report back if uh, about that.
um, if it's causing me. See, sometimes I have to watch out with the sleep herbs, make sure that they don't um, get my digestion going. I have a really hard time um, trying to fall asleep if I'm hungry. And so sometimes if things are, if a sleep herb is also bitter and then my, my belly gets going and then it just doesn't, it disturbs my sleep because I'm thinking about food. Um, let's see, Ooh, blueberry leaf. So that's another uh, blood sugar stabilizer, another very neutral type of a uh, tea herb. So that's a very good one to have, glad to have that. Hide it. Oh, they sent a little, hmm. Brennessel almond mate. So it's about mate and brennessel seeds. So that's, that's a, okay, I just, for whatever reason, they decided to send me little write-ups about those two particular herbs. That's cool. Yeah, God, I, I was really hoping this was going to come to me. I want to say... God, what did they... Let's see. It's some kind of seed that... God, I really don't know what this is. Oh my God, it's not funny. Um, Oh no, okay, yeah, the delivery um, uh, for the, okay, the minimum delivery, the minimum order for free delivery was 40 euros, so that's 40 euros. I, I think, I think herbs are a pretty good deal, you know, I mean, it's a, it's really a kind of a pretty cheap hobby in a lot of ways, that's 40 euros worth of herbs right there, so that's cool, and that happens, this is, uh, you know, 8 euro um, carrot seed oil, and then what else did I get, okay, um, this is about spring. I'm not specifically saying, yeah, it's good to have um, nettle seed in the spring. And then, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, catalog. Cool. And this just. isn't going to come to me. I'm going to have to look it up. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me unpack a box. It's a genre on YouTube. We live in a very, very strange world. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.